Hey out there, welcome to Flying Dollar Motorsports. I am here today at the famous Onyx Off-Road Tumbleweeds Ranch uh, Off-Road Course with TFL Off-Road. Uh, we're going to be running this course today. I'm only going to be able to do some in-camera or in-car stuff with the GoPro because my normal cameraman, my son, is in high school. So he's in school today. It's a Thursday. So I want you to go over and watch the TFL Off-Road if you just want to see the Xterra. They got a lot of good content and a heck of a lot of subscribers. So if you want to see the full video with outdoor uh, stuff and video cameras and all the good stuff that they do with all their cool editing go ahead and check them out but stay tuned here and see what I got for you thanks see you later Yeah, so we've just dropped down here and we'll line up to the logs course. Can I start right here on the left? Yeah, Please. so just... Should I go, uh, well, we got to put it in uh, off-road mode here. Yeah, let's go to four high. Let's go to four high. It works. Cool. Electronics. I always, every time I turn it on, I'm weary. No lockers yet. Yeah, I think you're going to walk all this stuff pretty easy. So we'll play around in Andre's pit for a little bit and then we'll... We'll jet out to the back course where stuff gets real challenging. Yeah, I wanted to try it anyway. Yeah, yeah. why not? You're here, might as well do it all, right? Yeah. I don't know though, these these uh, logs might be kind of slick. Yeah, this is supposed to be our tire traction test. Well, my tire's got about 35,000 miles on it, so yeah. they're, they're due yeah. to be replaced They have soon. some wear, I definitely yeah, yeah, noticed yeah. that. Yeah, so I want to upgrade the wheels too, but I don't know because there's a way to put bigger discs in there for the brakes. Okay. But I only have 16s on it right now, so I have to go higher. Wow, these are 16s. Yeah. I didn't realize that. You got yeah. a lot of sidewall, though. Yeah, I like. I don't like the look with the skinny sidewall. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, there we go. That last one, a little bit of a bump to it. Yeah, it still didn't slip at all, though. I don't. Think oh no, I don't think it slipped at all. For one second. I don't. My my uh, turning radius to the left. I always have trouble with clearance issues on that side, so I had them do the ca caster a little different so okay. I have no left turning radius. I have really good right turning radius. <laughs> Probably isn't great in parking lots. Oh no. Yeah, I usually have to do a two-point turn into a into a parking spot. Oh, oh, lift it a little bit. These are yeah. dug out pretty good, huh? Yeah, they're really dug out. We actually, we brought the 2CV through this yesterday. <laughs> really? Yeah. Is that what those little tiny skinny, <laughs> exactly, those little skinny yeah. ones are? Yeah. Kind of cheated though because that car is so narrow that it, yeah. you know, didn't really stick its wheels in the holes. All right, you wanna do lava so, yeah. lane? Yeah, or we can do street? lava lane, test out your departure angle a little bit. Let me let me do four low just for that one because I don't want to overheat the transmission. Okay. All right. But you've got pretty good ground clearance and- I do, I do have pretty good- bumpers, so. Pretty good uh, going up it. I've scraped off the, the uh, leaf springs are okay. pretty scraped up in the back from dropping off of stuff. Didn't touch anything there though. No, I know. Pretty clear there. I was really anxious to see, you know, nothing. Video flattens everything out, so I was really anxious to see how steep some of this stuff yeah. actually was. You know, because on the video you're like, oh, that looks like nothing. And, mm -hmm. you know, when you get there, you're like, that's why I'm not talking any any trash yet, you know. <laughs> I want to represent the Nissan crew, but I don't want to, you know, then make myself look stupid. Yeah, it's funny. Everybody who runs this course says that yeah. when they come here, that it does not look nearly as bad on, on video as when they actually see it. In Which side's the harder side? The right looks harder to me. But... Yeah, it, it kind of changes, honestly, every time we go through it. Um, I'd say the right has probably got the bigger rocks in it and okay. it's more challenging. It's nicely set up. That width looks like it's going to go uh -huh. favor my... Yeah, David, vehicle. who I'm sure you've seen in some of these oh, videos, yeah. he did a killer job making this. Going into four low for should, the first obstacle, which is we go, Dirty Deed. Should we go rear locker, front locker, no locker? I don't think you're going to need a locker for this one. All right. Well, trust your judgment. Yeah. We'll get the locker Unless going you're a, a Jeep later. guy, then you're just trying to get me stuck <laughs> so I don't look bad. No, we want to make this look exterior look good. Oh, see, there's that clearance issue. Yep. All right, let's see. Let's try this truck. So, 
like I was saying, I am. I don't want to hit the tree, but I am not concerned about scratches on this one. Cool. It's definitely gotten pinstripe before I oh, take it. Oh gosh, yeah. There's. It's got rock rash down the one side of it. I don't care. As long as the windows are intact, I'm okay. So yeah, we're gonna go up this uh, this steep hill climb right here. So. Okay. Sometimes guys like to stop on it and kind of give a little traction test since this is pretty loose dirt here. So you're welcome to stop halfway up and then right. see if you can get going. We'll be right about here. Yeah. All right. See if my hill descent control still works. Yep, sure Perfect. does. All right, we'll give it a shot. Something's rolling around back there. Easy. Yeah, no problem. Hmm. I'm guessing you're still unlocked, right? I am still unlocked, no lockers. Yeah, nice. see, that is all the turn I have. <laughs> and that is like, I thought I was gonna give myself a little room running over that bush. I hate to tell you, but that might be the widest turn we've had through the, this part of the course. Ouch, ouch, this isn't even a full-size vehicle. There we go. Say a little bit of stuff there and clearance issues, but that's okay. I don't care about the paint. But it's also mine, so yeah. I don't have to worry about that. It's not a test vehicle. Uh, I hope I'm good over there. I think I can make it. What do you think? You tell uh, me. Let me get a peek. Yeah, you're looking pretty good. Ooh. Now that I say that, I go straight forward down this little cliff. Are we on the edge? Yeah, you're right on the edge, but you're making it. Well, it's good. You're on the you're on the downside, so if we <laughs> yeah. go over, you're the one With getting it first. With my arms out the window. Yeah, too. and your head. Yeah. <laughs> That's your safety message for the day, viewers. Uh, Keep all, right. all body parts inside yeah. the vehicle. All right, we're good. But so we're gonna go up that right there. Oh, oh, I missed so, it. So yeah, you can kind of back into this little nook right here. Okay. Uh, you don't care about this bush, do you? No. Nope. Okay. Uh, this one might. We might need to go lock it. Uh, yeah, I would say probably. And now, while we're waiting for our videographer to get some cameras set up, you actually have your own YouTube channel, right? I do, I do. I have almost as many subscribers as, as your TFL offered. I have 500. <laughs> well, not quite, I haven't broken it yet. But. but you've got a lot of vehicle stuff and I'm sure a lot of this vehicle on there as well, so some Corvette stuff maybe? It started off with this. I do a lot of off-roading and stuff, kind of like trail, you know, trail riding and stuff. I have my old Corvette. I have a 63 Corvette convertible that my dad handed down to me. But I do some stuff, so I do Anything that interests me, you know, yeah. reviews, how-tos, classic car shows, off-roading, anything that interests me. I don't <clears throat> limit myself and I don't have 12 channels, so I only have the one, so it's all on there. Yeah, what's so it called? It's called Flying Dollar Motorsports. Cool, so go check it so, out if you want to see some more yeah. fixed hair off-road. So this one looks like we're going to need a locker to be successful. Yeah. I don't know, should we do, you want to do stage stage one with the rear or stage two with both? Let's try it with the rear. I think we can get up with just the rear. All right. That is on. All right. I don't know. They, I keep hearing about how soft this dirt is. It's pretty soft, but um, I don't know. If we need the front locker, we'll throw it on. I think you'll climb up this no problem, though. Easy. Yeah. Okay. That's Not like as 30, bad as I thought. Degrees. I thought for sure when I uh, when I was got up to the top and put those front got that front end a little light. I thought I was gonna need get some wheel spin, but not too good. Yeah. Cool, so yeah, now we're at Nathan's Crack, and this is really gonna test your departure angle. Uh, a lot of vehicles will hit their hitches here, so right. just take it slow and... Good thing I don't have a hitch. Don't have a hitch. I told, I pulled that thing off years ago just for that exact reason, uh, departure angle. Plus with the body lift, it looked kind of yeah. silly. Yeah. So, I mean, I have a receiver on the bumper, but... I don't imagine you would want to do much towing with a rig like this anyway. No, it's pretty awful. All right, looks like we're at that little root here on the left. Mm -hmm. Oh, I think I lifted a tire there a little bit. Old IFS showing its... Oh, I didn't hit. Didn't hit. I don't think you I hit. feel that drop down, though. Yeah. It, it probably got pretty close. But yeah, didn't hit at all. Cool, so what are we doing here? Low range, are we doing front and rear, or just nah, rear right I'll now? I'll probably do the front when I get a little closer, just because it makes it really hard to turn. Okay. So I don't think I need it for this because it's pretty dry today. But for the exit, you'll turn on the front. For the for getting out of there, yeah, I wanna. I hoping to one shot it, so we'll do. 
Cool. Do the front there. I think I'm gonna go kind of far left on here. Yeah, you got it, because we've got this tree over here that yeah. kind of hangs down far. We don't want to take that. And that side's really, really torn up. Yeah. There's my turn limit. As right. expected, that was pretty easy. And now, yeah, your plan here, you're going to kind of cut over that log. Yeah, right? I think I'm going to go high left on the log here and try to keep my left tire, my driver's side tire between those two puddles there and kind of keep it out of that really big one cool. and hope that I can make that turn out of there before. But let's go, uh, let's go locker on here. So put the compressor on, wait for it to fill up for a second. All right, we should be locked in in the Very front. Cool. Rear lockers on, four well. Here we go. <laughs> Cross your fingers. I'm not a wheel spin guy either, so hopefully we can walk right through this without a lot of. All right. Well, we're in it now. We are front, in it. No turn back. In it. Back wheel is over. Oh, that was great. Go. That was so good. Good, good. I was like really nervous that it, all the Jeeps made it through and oh, then I no, was going to get was stuck. Great. We've had so many vehicles get in there and just start throwing mud and really need to use momentum. And I think that front locker really helped you out on that. So. Yeah, it's it's a shame Nissan never offered them with it. Mm -hmm. But honestly, I think if you, once you learn to drive without a front locker, it makes you a better driver. Yeah. This just, this is easy button yeah. you know so and it's nice to have you don't need to use it when you don't want it but then you get into something super serious flip it on yeah and, it know, really you keeps know. you from spinning and using momentum because once you get hopping you know and that's when things break and yep. i don't like that so all right we let's gotta... uh let's give this our best shot how you feeling i'm um, perfectly fine i swear i'm a little <laughs> nervous Just coming out of this might be a little more than i'm ready for but we're gonna give it a shot we'll just it because go. I can't come down here and not try. I like your attitude. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah we're that'd... sliding. You definitely moved some dirt with the front end. Almost. Oh, I was so close. If you give it a little bump, it might go. I'm gonna back up a little bit. Now nah, we're done. Nope, we nope. ain't even moving now. <laughs> like I literally have a foot that I am moving. Nope. It ain't gonna go, huh? It ain't gonna go. Cool, and now our last climb out of here is Home Free Hill, so it's real steep. It is very steep. Yeah, drops down into a little creek crossing and then we'll climb back up the mountain on the way out of here and head back out. This is definitely another one you can't tell in the video of how, no. of how steep it is. Yeah, and it really drops at the end into this water. Yeah, yeah I can see there's a, a good foot and a half, two foot drop off mm -hmm. here. Oh, right about now. Here I am with my window down. I'm gonna get sleep. Not 10 minutes ago, I told you not to have a window. Clean. <laughs> Just shot for it. Yep, and then there just you up go. to the left, keep some momentum. Oh, <laughs> maybe I shouldn't have spun the tires. Just trying to show off and get a little wheel spin for the video for you guys. Yeah, getting out of this can actually be a little trickier than it looks. Wow, it is tricky. Yeah. Lockers back on. I, I underestimated this one. I, yep. I did not underestimate the other one. I underestimated this one for sure. There you oh, go. That locker makes such a difference. I told you, though. the thing is the easy button. Yep. But I can't turn yeah. with it on. <laughs> You could probably cut it off now yeah, and then you're turning back. I'm sure it's fine. That mud. So yeah, this just climbs up up here and over to the right we'll top out at the top of the hill. I think I'm going straight, right? Yep, God, I can't imagine perfect. doing this in a full-size truck. Right. Can't see a thing. And there we are, that's the top. And then we'll just coast on straight down. Oh, there it is. Yep. <laughs> All right, so there it is. That was uh, the entire Tumbleweed Ranch uh, 
course. Alex is uh, riding back with me. We're finished. We're still slinging some mud up over here. A lot of mud uh, flying off this yeah. time. <laughs> so I want to thank you guys for letting me uh, come on out here and uh, you know record and especially recording while you guys are recording. That's super cool of you. And uh, you know we did okay. Didn't make it through uh, Tommy's demise. I guess that's why it's called demise, right? Yep. That was. It's a lot worse than I thought it was going to be. Uh, it's just really narrow. The V-notch is really, really narrow. And then getting out of it, I underestimated that last one. That mud was just slippery. As soon as the front wheels got up, I lost all traction. But uh, we made it through. Nothing's broken yet. <laughs> I'm gonna go power wash off the probably 300 pounds of mud that I added to this thing. And I hope to see you again next time on my channel. Definitely go check out the video on their channel. It's gonna be a lot more involved and uh, they have much better editors than an old man sitting at a computer. Uh, working with the base level Adobe that I work with. So y'all have a good day. Thanks. See well, I just want to say thanks to Jordan too oh. for taking taking his rig out here yeah. and for trying everything. That was awesome. He tried every obstacle out here. Yeah, so. I, I definitely like to try the harder lines just because, like I said, it's an Xterra. People don't see them out there a lot and a lot of people, especially some Jeep guys, I love Jeeps, but some Jeep guys will talk a little garbage, you know, thinking and then I just like to go and show what this can do. It's an underrated vehicle. You yeah, know? I'm excited to read the comments on this one. Yeah. All right, we'll see you guys later. Thank you. Oh,